ready to learn more about the things held deep in the shadows? Numerous studies reveal that fluoride is a neurotoxin. So why is it still in our toothpaste? And why is it still added to our drinking water? And why in the Sam Hill are we feeding it in pill form to our babies? Now I'm just gonna read a short excerpt from an abstract and I'll leave the link to the study in the description so that you can go and do your own research. The study is titled Toxicity of Fluoride, Critical Evaluation of Evidence for Human Developmental Neurotoxicity and Epidemiological Studies, Animal Experiments, and vitro in vitro analysis. Now, this study is a combination of scientific research through a collaboration of 25 scientists and was published back in May of 2020. Recently, epidemiological studies have suggested that fluoride is a human developmental neurotoxin that reduces measures of intelligence in children, placing it in the same category as toxic metals such as lead, methylmercury, and arsenic, and polychlorinated biphenols. Now what's that? According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, polychlorinated biphenols are synthetic and man-made compounds that are produced by replacing hydrogen atoms in biphenyl with chlorine, and that they have various industrial applications and are toxic environmental pollutants, which tend to accumulate within animal tissues, like us. If true, this assessment would be highly relevant considering the widespread fluoridation of drinking water and the worldwide use of fluoride within our oral hygiene products, such as toothpaste. To gain deeper understanding of these assertions, the scientists, we reviewed the levels of human exposure as well as results from animal exper experiments particularly focusing on developmental toxicity and the molecular mechanisms by which fluoride can cause adverse effects. So go read the study. This information has been out there for a while, but within the third dimensional matrix grid, this is the type of information that is not shared or marketed to the masses because the very goal of the grid is to really keep the masses dumbed down and separate from their own unique essence and from their own spiritual divinity and health sovereignty. So if you're ready to take back your health sovereignty, eliminating toxins is a great place to start. This is a product that I made and have been using for about eight months and it works great. I call it Magic Minerals Tooth Cleaning and Whitening Powder. Um, it's a blend of bentonite clay, sodium bicarbonate, boron, horsetail for silica, calcium, magnesium, and zinc. It also contains cinnamon, black walnut hull, and cloves to help maintain the balance of the oral cavity. And it has activated charcoal to help whiten your teeth. I've only got about 10 of these in stock, but you can make your own just by getting the supplements from reputable sources, grinding them up and making your own remineralizing tooth powder and brush as usual. Now you won't get that nice foamy substance that toothpaste gives you, but the products that have that foamy substance are also toxic for you. We'll do, that's another video. It's called uh, sodium laurel sulfate and it is not good for you. It is in almost all of your healthcare products, including your shampoo. So the product link to this is in the description or better yet, go and make your own and learn how to step into relationship with the things that you consume and put into your body. My name is Misty Dawn. I'm a creative, intuitive, and indigenous energy healer. And I hope this message helps. 
If this type of content appeals to you, please join me as we navigate creation consciousness and building anew within these new earth energies.